Namaste yogis. This is going to be one of those poses that technically has unified gravity. I strongly suggest you find a wall. I prefer entering half moon from warrior 2. So setting up for warrior 2, let's find warrior 1 first where you take a bit of a lunge, back foot is engaged, front knee is bent. Then you want to sweep your hands up alongside your ears, finding that amazing stretch and then open your arms out, gazing at one point that is not moving in front of you. And then you want to like find extended side angle, but maybe you can take like a peaceful warrior first just to get a bit of a stretch before you bring that hand down like in extended side angle. If you're a beginner, this is the point you grab a block or just find yourself next to a wall because this posture involves drawing a lot of straight lines with your body and you want to be very careful and be very supported as you're getting into this posture as you can see from the infographic on your screen and then i'm going to lose the block here just for us to be able to create this thing so i'm going to tent my fingertips down on the ground and then i want to like root my standing foot by pressing all the four corners of that foot by pulling and then i pull my kneecap up just to engage the quads and to tighten everything and then you want to externally rotate the hip back especially on the lifted leg and stack it on top of the lower leg and then find your gaze or your drishti it can uh, my preferred way is just look ahead or just gaze up towards the fingertips and then stay here for about five breaths using the support of the block and again avoid letting your torso fall in towards gravity on the ground and you want to keep this amazing stacking of the shoulders on top of each other by rolling the shoulder blades towards your spine and once you have stability you can even experiment and see that you can bring your hands into heart center while still standing on that foot and again remember the lifted foot keeps on flexing and you know reaching through the soul then gently release by bending the knee to protect the knee and then let's find this posture again on the left side so again foundation is started from warrior two so i'm not going to use a block here because you already have our cues and then take peaceful warrior and then bring that hand down like you're going to take extended side dangle shifting your weight and again feel free to move as slowly as possible use all support as much as you can and then so that you can stack the shoulders on top of each other you can bend your standing legs slightly just to avoid locking that knee as well because again you also want to protect your knee and then once you have everything you're stacking the shoulders on top of each other the lifted foot is flexed nicely soles reaching out so that you can bring your hands into anjali mudra or the prayer and stay here for five breaths or better just open your arms out if it's too much and then once you're done with your five breaths, you want to like gently bend your standing foot to get out of the posture. Bending your foot helps protect your knee. Namaste.